everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to crochet this beanie it's very easy and simple and um, by looking at it if you don't look at the ribbing, ribbing but just on the uh, rest of the beanie it looks like it's knitted but it's not knitted it's crochet but it gives the look of the knitting and uh, I have already made this one just to uh, just to make it and then I made this one on camera for the sake of video I attached a pom pom on the top of this one but I did not attach on this one there are two reasons behind that first because um, uh, I'm not good at making pom pom as you guys can see and secondly also because you can so that I think it looks um, it looks good even without the pom pom as well and I will show you guys both beanies so that you guys know what I mean here so you can see the texture of the beanie from the top a little bit better if there is no pom pom and uh, yeah this is how it looks and it looks good even with the pom pom as well so I will show you guys the one with the pom pom as well. This is how it looks with the pom pom. And now I will tell you the length and the width of the beanie. The width of the beanie is approximately 8 inches. And the length of the beanie is approximately 7.5 inches and it's suitable for the age of 6 months to 12 months old babies and uh, it's the same size on the both beanie the yarn I used is this one and uh, into the uh, 50 gram of the yarn there is 133 meters of the yarn and I used my favorite, all time favorite, 4 millimeter crochet hook. So let's get started. Starting point of our beanie is going to be here on the bottom. And for that, what we are going to do is we are going to make chains. You can make as many chains as you want to. Uh, just that the numbers of the chain should be uh, equal to 6. Any numbers of the chain, the chains that can be divided by six for the beanie i am making i am going to make chain 60. so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten i will make rest of the chains off camera and then i will resume the video just make any chains that chains that can be divided by six for the beanie I am going to make I have made 60 chains for the size of beanie I want to you can make as many chains as you want to according to the size of your beanie so I have made chains and now what I will do is that I will slip stitch carefully into the first chain so that I don't twist the chains I have made and then make chain 3 and chain 3 is in this round does not count as our first double crochet I will make 1, 2, 3 chains and I will make 1 double crochet into the same chain where we have made chain 3 and one double crochet into each and every chain like that I will make rest of the uh, double crochets off camera simply make one double crochet in each and every chain 
slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet which is this one we are going to skip this starting chain 3 because as I said it does not count as our first double crochet so slip stitch on the top of first double crochet and then make chain 3 1 2 3 again this starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet convert our uh, starting chain from the last round and first double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into next double crochet front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one front post double crochet into the next back post into into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end i am at the end of this round what i will do now is that i will skip again the starting chain three and i will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet which is this one chain 3 1 2 3 and make uh, convert this uh, chain 3 and first front post double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into next back post double crochet front post double crochet into next front post double crochet back post double crochet into next back post double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make front post double crochet into all front post double crochets back post double crochet into all back post double crochets all the way to the end here and then we will skip this starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet and we will repeat this round once more and then I will resume the video we will have total 4 rounds on the ribbing we have already made 2 we are working on third one and third one and then I will repeat this one once more and then I will resume the video again I am almost done with the ribbing I have repeated it for four times you can repeat it as many times as you want to and then slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet we are going to skip once again our starting chain 3 because it does not count as our first double crochet so now our ribbing is done we are going to work on our uh, upper part of our beanie or rest of our beanie so at this point you can do the measuring if uh, the size is the what you call it uh, if it's the size you want to this is the time you can again you can measure it and then if you think that it has to be made a little bit bigger then you can maybe restart and make some more rounds but I have the width of the beanie I want it it's best for that so I will not do anything else what I will do now is that we will start working on rest of the beanie so now what I will do is I will cut the yarn because we are going to attach the other color and uh, <clears throat> I will join this color and you can join it anywhere into any of uh, these uh, double crochets it does not matter join the yarn into any of these double crochets <clears throat> on the top of any of these double crochets and then make chain 3 but now chain 3 will be counted as our first double crochet 1 2 3 first double crochet made now make one double crochet into each of next two make 
make one double crochet into next two stitches into this one and this one one and two total three double crochets made including this starting chain three now what we will do is what we will do now is that we will go back into this uh, double crochet where we have made our first stitch first chain three we are going back to into that and we will make front post double crochet into that like that and then what we will do is that we will make one double crochet into next three stitches one double crochet and remember the next front post double crochet will be made into this um, uh, double crochet where we have made our first double crochet of the set of three double crochets so just remember this stitch we are going to make one double crochet into next two stitches one and two in total we have made three double crochets now again as i said we are going to make our front post double crochet into this stitch the double crochet under our first double crochet we are going to make sets of three double crochets and all the front post double crochets are going to be made under the first double crochet it's going to be made into uh, on the around the post of that double crochet on which we have made our first double crochet so wrap your yarn around your crochet hook insert the crochet hook under around the post of uh, that is under the first double crochet and then make a front post double crochet into that it looks a little bit messy right now but uh, it will work out when you will make a couple of rounds you will see the pattern taking shape now i will make one double crochet again into next three stitches one and again our next front post double crochet will be made into this double crochet which is under the first double crochet one two and three and make one front post double crochet into this double crochet like that i will i will show once more and then i will make rest of the round off camera make one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three total three double crochets and front co front post double crochet will be made around the post of double crochet which is under our first double crochet make a front post double crochet like that now repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one plain double crochet into next one two three and then come back and make a front post double crochet around the post of our first double crochet of the set of three double crochets repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and we have only three stitches left so I will just repeat the pattern by making one plain double crochet into next three sti uh, stitches one two and three and then making my last front post double crochet around under around the post of uh, double crochet which is under our first double crochet and then what I will do this is our starting chain three I'm going to slip stitch on the top of one two third chain and then I will make chain three one two three make one double crochet into next two double crochets this starting chain three 
counts as our first double crochet so one double crochet into next two stitches and now what I will do is I will go back into the front post double crochet made the last front post double crochet of the last round and I will make a front post double crochet into that like that and then I will skip the top of this front post double crochet I'm not going to make any stitch into that I will go next and make one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three and now we will go back into this uh, front post double crochet the next front post double crochet which is available and I will make a front post double crochet around the post of that like that skip next front post top of next front post double crochet and go directly into next available simple plain double crochet not front post and make one double crochet into those plain double crochets one two and three and now go back to this next available front post double crochet and make a front post double crochet around the post of that I will show once more and then I will make rest of the round off camera make skip next front post double crochet and go directly into first available double crochet and make one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three go back into the next available front post double crochet and make a front post double crochet into that like that this is the pattern we are going to repeat we are going to skip next available stitches this front post double crochet we are going to skip that and make one front post uh, one double crochet into next three stitches and then we will go back down here this is the next available front post double crochet we will make a front post double crochet into that we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end I have only one section of these stitches to go the last um, set of three double crochet is left I will make one double crochet into next three double crochets one two and three and then again I will go back this is the last available front post double crochet and I will make a front post double crochet around the post of that like that and then I will slip stitch on the top of our first uh, into third chain starting chain 3 on the top of our starting chain 3 chain 3 1 2 3 and now we are going to repeat our last round which we have just completed we will what we will do is this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet and we will make one double uh, this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet so I will make one double crochet on the top of our next two stitches one and two and then we will go back to on the uh, clockwise we will go clockwise and this is first available front post double crochet so we will make a front post double crochet into that like that one double crochet into next three double crochets we will skip this front post double crochet one two and three and then this is next available front post double crochet we will make a front post double crochet around the post of that this is the pattern we are going to repeat as many times as we have to by skipping front post double crochet making one double crochet into next three double crochet and then going back into this front post double crochet and make a front post double crochet into that repeat that pattern as many times as you have to 
according to length of your beanie the decreasing rounds are approximately one and half inches uh, when almost uh, one and half inches of the length of the beanie is required more then you will stop working and then we will start working on our decreasing round so repeat this pattern as many times the last round as many times as you want to i have repeated the pattern for total after the ribbing i have repeated for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven times you can as i said earlier you can repeat it as many times as you want to now we are going to work on our uh, decreasing round and for that what we will do is that i will make chain three as usual and this chain three does not count as our first double crochet but i will make chain uh, sorry this counts as our first double crochet so i have made chain three i will make a, a double crochet into the next and i will leave the third double crochet plain double crochet unworked and then simply i will make front post double crochet into the first available uh, front post double crochet clockwise and i will make front post double crochet into that i already said that we are going to skip this double crochet so we are going to skip this front post double crochet as well and this is the first available uh, plain double crochet this is first double crochet of the set of three double crochets i'm going to make one double crochet into next uh, two or first two double crochets one two and two and then front post double crochet into first available front post double crochet on the back side like that now we will skip next two stitches uh, which is the next uh, double crochet and uh, front post double crochet and these are the set of three double crochets we are going to make one double crochet into first two stitches one and two and again front post double crochet into this front post double crochet the next one which is available repeat this pattern all the way to the end just skip next double crochet and next front post double crochet and make one double crochet into next two available double crochets and then go back and make a front post double crochet into front post double crochet which is available going this way or clockwise slip stitch on the top of our first uh, starting chain three slip stitch into third chain and then make chain three one two three and again as i said this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet and make a front post double crochet skip next double crochet and make a front post double crochet which is available on the background on the back side now skip uh, next double crochet and front post double crochet and now as um you guys can see that we made two double crochets instead of three so make one double crochet into the first double crochet and then front post double crochet into next available front post double crochet skip next double crochet and front post double crochet and one double crochet into next double crochet front post double crochet into next available front post double crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat by skipping next double crochet and front post double crochet and making one double crochet into the first double crochet of the set of two double crochets 
and then going back here and making front post double crochet into next available front post double crochet all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first starting chain 3 slip stitch onto the third chain <coughs> and then slip stitch into the next front post double crochet and chain 3 1 2 3 this starting chain 3 in this round does not count as our first double crochet so we will make a double front post double crochet into each and every front post double crochets we are skipping all the double crochets the regular double crochets and we are making a front post double crochet into each and every front post double crochet all the way to the end skip first starting chain 3 because that does not count as our first double crochet and slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet now make chain 3 1 2 3 and again this starting chain 3 does not count as our first double crochet what we will do is we are going to convert these two front post double crochet into one for that we are going to make front post double crochet around next two front post stitches like that and then convert these two into one front post double crochet like that and again into next two convert them into one front post double crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making a front uh, post double crochet behind both next two front post stitches converting them into one now we are at the end of this round so skip these starting chain three and slip stitch on the top of our first front post stitch and then cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn because we are going to do some sewing secure the end and now you can see we have this tiny hole on the top what we are going to do is we are going to close that hole for that we will insert the tail of the yarn inside the beanie and then turn it turn inside out of the beanie thread the needle with the yarn and then simply it's very easy simply zigzag around the tops of the stitches and then simply pull it tight and make a couple of knots and then after making couple of random knots you what you are going to do is you are going to weave in the ends to hide the first of all end of the yarn and secondly to make it more secure you can simply weave in the end anywhere you want to i will do rest of the process off camera and then i will resume the video again so your beanie is done i am not going to attach any uh, what you call it pom pom in it because I think it looks good as it is first of all and secondly as I always say I am not good at making pom pom and I have already made one with the pom pom so I will show you guys that one and uh, uh, that one as well that how does it look with pom pom and without pom pom so this is without pom pom and here you guys can see the top of the beanie it is giving it a that swirly look like that 
and when i will make the introduction of the video i will i will show you guys the one i have already made and i will show you guys how it looks with pom pom and uh, this is it thank you so much for watching if there was anything confusing if there was anything that you guys did not understand please comment below and i will try my level best to help you guys uh, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting